Hi guys, welcome to the latest video at Cricket Draft Insight. Today I'd like to talk about Rob Keogh. Earlier today, Cricket Draft provided some more player prices and revealed that Northamptonshire's Rob Keogh was valued at £104,000. What caught people's attention more than Keogh's price, however, was the fact that his status had changed from a batter to an all-rounder. This won't have come as a surprise to many draft directors, as well as scoring three first-class hundreds last season, Keogh claimed 34 wickets at an average of just 30. But it does pose the question, now that Keogh has been classed as an all-rounder, does he still represent a value selection? I think that he does, and I'm going to try and tell you why. All the players in this graphic played in all 14 of their side's county championship games last season. And as you can see, Keogh was right up there for runs scored. Of course, that does make some sense, he was listed as a batter. Of the players on this list, only David Lloyd and Ed Barnard outscored Keogh, but not by much. Most of the players in this list I think were listed as all-rounders last year, however it's worth pointing out that George Hill was listed as a batter. The chart on screen might not necessarily cry out, pick Keogh. But I think that the bowling graphic will highlight his value. A reminder that all the players on this list played in all 14 of their side's county championship games last season. I've always thought that Ryan Higgins and Ed Barnard were almost essential picks, but these graphics make me question that. Last season, Higgins did okay with the bat, but nothing stellar, Meanwhile, Barnard averaged 39 with the ball. As you can see from the image on screen, the likes of David Lloyd, Felix Organ and Will Rhodes contributed little in the wicket column, putting into question their status as all-rounders. Despite his change in status, at 104k, I still expect to have Rob Keogh in my squad. As somebody on Twitter pointed out, Keogh is essentially Northamptonshire's first-choice spinner. Of course, this all leads us to another question. Who is this season's Rob Keogh? A batter who bowls? Dan Lawrence, maybe? But he's got plenty of spin bowling competition at Essex. How about Daniel Bell Drummond at Kent, who has started to take a few wickets now? He claimed nine last season. Have you identified any batters who bowl? Shrewd picks for the 2023 campaign? Thank you once again for watching and try and contain your excitement until the game goes live on Thursday. How's that?